Hey, Scruffy. Sorry I'm late. Hope you're not angry. <clears throat> so, um, about an hour late compared to our normal time. So I'm a, about a half hour later than last night. <clears throat> I have fed Scruffy later than this before, but not in a while, so you might be a little irritated. <clears throat> but I did give him kibble for lunch, so that's a new thing, so he should be okay. Okay. I'm gonna put the food on the table, get the gloves. <clears throat> He's not as meowy as I expected. I thought he might give me an earful for being late. So I guess Scruffy's fine. <clears throat> so I got a text message from an old friend that I haven't heard from in maybe a year. It's been a while. I send him a text every now and then or an email. Never hear back from him. So I got a random text today, uh, right around uh, a little bit before dinner, or, n or the normal dinner time. And uh, since yeah, I haven't spoke to him in a long time, I you know, wanted to respond and you know, catch him while he was there. So I responded, so we chatted for a little bit on a text. <clears throat> So yeah, he's been in an MBA program for, I think this is year two. So he's almost done with it. And so he's been really busy trying to finish the program. <clears throat> so that's basically why he hasn't been in contact. So it's nice to hear from him. So it sounds like, yeah, he's almost done. He's already lined up a new job and uh, yeah, things are looking pretty good for him. So that's, that's pretty great. <clears throat> so... <clears throat> I remember he used to have a cat he told me about. Um, so his cat was also a stray or... It's probably a stray. Abandoned cat, maybe. Abused, maybe. Um, so basically, you know, he lived in a, an, apart, an apartment and uh, I think... I forgot the exact story, but basically it was one day yeah, he opened the door and I guess the cat saw that the door was open and ran in and wouldn't leave. And so the, yeah, the cat wanted a home. And uh, yeah, very, very friendly cat from what I hear. So it sounds like, yeah, the cat used to have an owner and was probably abandoned. And, uh, <clears throat> looking for a new home. Um, I think, yeah, the cat may have had a little bit of trauma from the previous owner, like the abandonment, but sounds like they worked through the issues. Um, the cat was, I think, very needy in the sense that, yeah, one didn't didn't like being left alone, um, liked liked uh, having a having him around. And I think he also said the cat was very dog-like. I think he said it was a uh, kind of pr a protective cat, and <clears throat> very friendly cat. You know, sort of a companionship, sort of like a dog. Whereas you know, usually cats have the stereotype of you know doing their own thing and going, you know, leaving you alone until you know, food time or something. Uh, this cat seemed to yeah want to always be around people and uh, it's always very friendly I come up to people want to be pet and want to play so 
And he always described it as a very dog-like cat. I think the cat was also protective, so sort of like a dog. So sounds like yeah, he had a great cat. Fortunately, uh, she I think yeah she died. I forgot how many years ago it was. It was I think right before the lockdowns. Actually, maybe it's, yeah, maybe a year before the lockdowns. So he mentioned that yeah, the cat was standing standing on the bed or something, and it just fell over. And <clears throat> we took her to the vet, and I think the vet said yeah, I think it was like. It's a kidney failure or something like that. It's pretty bad. Basically, nothing they could do. It's not like it was advanced. Yeah, pretty advanced. So I told him I needed to end our conversation so I can come out and feed Scruffy. I don't think I told him about Scruffy, so I don't know if he knows I've been doing this for the past two years. <laughs> As I said, I haven't, been ha I haven't had much contact with him since he started his uh, MBA program, so probably didn't know I've been feeding Scruffy here, or who Scruffy is. But yeah, even though I cut our conversation short, yeah, I, was, I was still running a little late, so, so that's why I'm uh, later than the normal. But yeah, Scruffy doesn't seem to mind, so I think we're okay. But yeah, it is a little colder right now, so I probably should have put on slightly warmer clothes. I'm actually, I think I'm going to start shivering soon if I stay out here too long. I'm feeling my whole body tense up because, yeah, I'm cold. So I think today was actually a little warmer. Um, but yeah, right now it's cooling down quite a bit. So I think I'm going to feed Scruffy now. Okay, let's get your food. <laughs> Shift around in the chair because he you know, was bending over funny. It's starting to hurt. So I think I made Scruffy a little nervous as I was shifting around in the chair. Oh, I got a piece of fur to fall off. Yay. Yeah, Scruffy needs to shed, particularly in the rear part. It's, it's really. Lots of great looking mats. So last year he didn't look as bad. <clears throat> so for the most part, yeah, Scrippy doesn't seem to have mats except when he starts shedding. <clears throat> so he starts shedding in big giant clumps and they become matted and they 
eventually the, the clumps fall off. But it takes a really long time for his clumps to come off. So a lot of times he has like a, it looks like a rope dragging behind him, which is basically a big long chunk of fur that's trying to shed. <clears throat> but usually that happens in the spring or summer. And so I was surprised to start seeing some mats on his rear end uh, the last month or two. So now that we're heading into winter, I'm thinking, so his fur is going to grow out, get thicker for his winter coat. But yeah, I didn't expect to see mats just around his rear end because uh, usually, yeah, his coat's pretty good. I've heard mat most matting actually occurs from, uh, well, they don't exactly know why, but it seems that it's worst if you have, uh, if you, uh, a cat you take in, so, so a feral cat that's been outdoors in its entire life usually doesn't suffer from mat problems from what I've read, because basically they naturally are in tune, I guess, with uh, uh, the weather cycle and um, the environment, and they, they naturally deal with their fur. <clears throat> um, I hear when they start going inside, it can screw up, I guess, their internal uh, regulation or whatever, and I guess basically the changing environment from living inside screws up their, their natural shedding cycle or something and so they're more prone to get mats once they become an indoor cat and you don't take care of them regularly. So once they become an indoor cat the owner really has to take care of the cat's mats and fur. <clears throat> but a completely feral cat, uh, not so much. And then if a cat was formally uh, indoor and then was abandoned or turned into an outdoor cat, then they're going to also suffer a lot of uh, mat problems uh, and they're actually going to get a lot worse because uh, the cat is now, I guess the, the fur is now accustomed to being maintained or indoor climates and um, it cannot regulate itself anymore. As we're scruffy here, since he's always outside, and the rest of his fur actually looks for the most part okay. I'm thinking, yeah, I can't, it's probably not the environment thing. And it's probably not me from brushing. It's probably not me brushing it either. Um, because I'm also continuing to brush it. I am wondering though, yeah, maybe uh, Scruffy is getting kind of older, older and having trouble reaching around to his rear, so that's why we're seeing more mats on his uh, rear end. Yeah, some sort of arthritis or something. Yeah, so I forgot to talk about today. Let's see. Yeah, I think I just saw Scruffy at lunch. And I actually fed him, I think, a little on the earlier side today. I had a break in the action. So I thought I'd give it, give, it, give, it, give it to him while I had a good opening. Hey, Scruffy. I think you heard me behind the door, huh? <clears throat> so, yeah, I'm a little early. Uh, <clears throat> short break in the action, so... Could I give you your water and a little bit of kibble, huh? Sun came out. It's actually not quite as cold. I think I woke Scruffy up. God, I saw him sleeping under the table a moment ago. I think he could hear me behind the door. 
getting everything together. Okay. <clears throat> you can put the water down. Scruffy's hungry. So he's cleaning his bowl a little faster than normal tonight. <clears throat> so we did go for a bike ride this afternoon. I went a little bit earlier, so I didn't have problems with uh, losing the sun today. And I think I went early enough that it wasn't too cold. So it was, it was cold, but yeah, not so cold. I needed uh, much, much heavier clothes. I, I wore the same clothes I wore last time where I was thinking I needed uh, heavier clothes. But today it, today it worked out, I think. I did go up the exposed mountainside. We haven't had rain in a few days, so it, yeah, it's starting to dry up a bit, so it wasn't uh, terribly muddy, except for that mud pit that I uh, splashed into last week. Uh, that one's still you know, kind of a mud pit, but I was able to <clears throat> go around it. So I went up the extended uh, section with the observation point. But yeah, I was feeling a little weaker tired today. I actually had to stop a few extra times on the way up. So I took a few extra breaks. So I'm, for some reason, yeah, feeling a little weaker right now. But I made it, so... <clears throat> so hopefully... Uh, Get stronger as time goes on. So let's see, I don't think I saw any wild turkeys today. No, yeah, not today. I did look up on uh, online, yeah, do wild turkeys fly? Yeah, apparently they do. <laughs> so, I did, did indeed see a flying, flying turkey. Um, yeah, they don't fly that far, but they can fly. And I think, yeah, the description I had where basically this turkey kind of flew up and then kind of landed into a low tree um, that seems to be pretty normal in fact i, I saw another video in our article about how wild turkeys actually go into a tree to sleep so that's about to take off there leaving I think he's leaving. Going the other way this time. Okay, folks. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye.